Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I want to talk about this guy, Dr. Gundry, and his hatred toward lectins. Check out all my books on audible.com. So Dr. Gundry, um, who's a medical doctor, and starts telling us about health, he's discovered um, that lectins are just the most evil things uh, on the planet and we really need to get these out of the, our diet or and then we'll be healthy. He claims to have, he's written a book, he claims to have cured um, 1,200 people or more uh, through this diet of removing lectins from the diet. So, um, you know, lectin is uh, kind, of a, kind of a protein, and you find it in legumes, right, Your lentils, um, you know, raw beans, well, raw, you know, like we eat raw beans, soybeans, okay, so avoid soybeans and soy at all costs. You get nuts and seeds, and nightshade vegetables, um, which I love, uh, tomatoes, potatoes, bell peppers, eggplant. That's what I've been eating all summer, and I eat them raw. Now, if you cook this, you know, you can cook this lectin, the lectin right out of it. So, if these are cooked foods, then they're not going to be there. I mean, who eats uh, raw wheat or, or quinoa or rice or barley or meat? It's in meat, um, mostly farm, factory farm meat, this kind of stuff, grain-fed grain, grain -fed meat, it's in there. You know, who eats any of that raw? Well, well, first of all, lentils, I, I sprout those all winter. So I'm always sprouting that. Um, I do some peas during the winter. I sprout them and I eat them raw. Um, no problems here. Um, I, you know, I kind of stay away from too many nuts. You can, I don't have a problem with them. But if you go into the pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and chia seeds and all this stuff, this is great. These are great foods. I don't know why you would want to keep those out of your, uh, your diet. I think they're very healthy. Uh, milk, I don't eat uh, dairy products, but uh, you know, who eats raw milk? I mean, it's all processed, so I wouldn't see any lectins there to begin with. Quinoa, Look, if you're going to eat a grain, quinoa is the queen of grains. It's the best grain. If you're going to fill up on something, if you want to, you know, quinoa, I mean, quinoa, if you're going to do anything, I would, I, I didn't never heard of quinoa when I started out in a raw food diet. Uh, millet's also excellent. So I eat all these things and especially tomatoes. Potatoes I don't eat very often. But you can, if you ever want to eat a raw potato, you put it, uh, you, know, you juice it and then you put a lemon in there fresh lemon it's got to be a fresh lemon and that'll convert the carbohydrates so your body can absorb that it's really good for your skin by the way uh raw potato so bell, bell peppers i eat those constantly all all year long i eat a lot of hot peppers and eggplant not a fan of eggplant uh tomatoes i mean i've spent the entire summer here especially now in you know august september we get this tomato season I've gotten tons of these things and I've eaten so many of them and all of them raw. So I don't know what he's talking about. Let's say health person. He's written a book. Um, he's got a whole big marketing company behind him and more power to him in that regard. But I don't agree with the guy at all. I didn't seem like a bad guy. I don't know anything about him personally. But when you're a medical doctor, stay in the medical world. You know, as they say, stay in your lane. Quit going, coming out and say, I'm a medical doctor and I, I know that lectins, lectins are really bad for you and you shouldn't be eating those. Well, just stay in your lane. <laughs> go, go do your medical stuff, you know, or, or get some kind of credential in the health world because you don't have any. You just come out and say, well, you know, this is this is what I know about it. I mean, what did they did they teach them about lectins in medical school? No, they don't teach anything about health. And, and that's why I always think it's so funny to find these do medical doctors standing in the produce section of their supermarkets uh, with a lab coat and a stethoscope on. I mean, what do they know about it? Nothing. I mean, if I say a word about medicine or medical stuff or I mention any kind of a disease, I mean, that, that the FDA can come right in and shut me down. Nope, they give you a warning letter and then that's it. And that warning letter is like, not just, you know, we're warning you, that's, we're here, we're gonna shut you down. That's the warning letter. So you gotta be careful what you say, I do. But here is a med medical doctor telling us he cured all these people of all these diseases by removing lectins from their diet. And that's the boogeyman, it's the lectins. Well, I think it's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, and I really have always promoted nightshade um, vegetables and nice shade plants to people. Um, I definitely will tell you some people are sensitive to those. And if you find something like that you eat and you, you know, I know, I know a woman who can't eat potatoes. She just has a lot of problems with her digestion. Then go to a sweet potato. I don't have anything against that. If, if, if you eat something, it doesn't agree with you, um, you know, stay away from it. That's all. But the idea that lectins are in all these foods 
and so you've got to avoid them. You cook them out to begin with. I mean, who eats raw beans? Nobody. Uh, me, maybe. Uh, you know, or you know, I sprout them. Medical misinformation. It's not medical misinformation. It's health misinformation, and uh, there should be a label for that. Uh, don't listen to the guy when it comes to health. Listen to a really health professionals and eat as much as your uh, many different foods as you possibly can, and eat as many of them raw as possible. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. It really hurt me a lot when YouTube demonetized me a couple years ago for medical misinformation. So don't forget, subscribe, like, share this video. It really helps a lot. I've got four of my books now on Audible. The temple he was referring to was his body. Uh, it's honoring your temple through natural health. My best book so far is The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. That's my most comprehensive book. I wrote that one last year. Silver, The Miracle Mineral, The End of Infectious Disease, um, How I Got Meningitis, that's on Audible. My biggest seller for sure, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. I have sold thousands and thousands of those for years.